and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick, and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can solve compound interest problems on the Casio FC 200V Financial Consultant Calculator. To do this, we'll be using the compound key that looks like this, located here, the negative key that looks like this, located here, and it's important to note is different than the subtraction key. It's this one, and the solve key that looks like this, located here in blue. All right, let's say we're given this compound interest problem. Calculate the future value at the end of a four year, 48 month investment that pays 4% annual interest when the initial deposit is $1,000 and additional deposits of $300 are made each month, compounded monthly. So these are our variables here. I for interest is four. Our PV or present value is $1,000. Our PMT or payment amount is $300. Our FV or future value is what we're trying to find. Our PY, or number of annual payments, is 12, because we're doing one a month. And our CY, or number of annual compoundings, is also 12. To start entering this, we press the compound key. That brings us to the compound interest menu here. First, we want to set our first option, where it says set to end. If it's not already set to end, you can select it and then choose it from the menu here. So we want to choose end. And then we scroll down to N. N is the number of payments. So we're doing one a month for four years. So that's 48. and hit EXE, and then we have I for interest, that was 4%, so we just press 4, EXE, our PV, or present value, that was $1,000, but it's important to enter this as a negative. So first we hit the negative key, and then the 1,000, and then hit EXE, and then our PMT, or payment amounts, that's $300. And again, we want this as a negative, so we'll hit the negative 300 EXE. Our future value, that's our unknown, that's what we're trying to solve. So we can scroll past that to our PY, which is 12. Mine's already set. If it's not, go ahead and type that in. And then our CY, which is also 12. Again, mine's already set to 12. If yours isn't, go ahead and enter 12 there. And then we want to scroll up to the value we want to solve for, which is our FB, and then press Solve. Our calculator will think for a bit and then give our future value, which in this case is $16,761.07, or 8 if we want to round it. What if we want to determine a different value? Like, for example, let's say we wanted to get our future value to $20,000. We enter that for our future value and hit EXE. And if everything else stays the same, so our number of payments, our interest rate, and our present value all stay the same, what kind of payments do we have to put in to get our $20,000 at the end? We can just highlight the payment and press solve. And it solves that for us. If we want to get $20,000, we need a monthly payment of $362.33. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, 
Good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.